to tackle militants across the country, which one diplomat in the report referred to as death squads. Now, 2000, uh, since 2017, the USA authorized these groups to call on airstrikes, even without USA forcing present with the human rights, saying that they led more strikes in residential buildings. Now, Human Rights Watch has called for Afghanistan government to immediately disband all pro-government armed groups and strike forces, fully investigate the allegations and strike and medical facilities and provide compensation for civilian victims. Well, let's move on to something else besides actually that. There is something to do with Twitter. Now, if you have been tweeting and you have been using Twitter to your advantage this time around, if you are in the political circles, it won't work. And if you're advertising for something political, it will not work. That is because Twitter is to ban all political advertising worldwide. Now, saying that the reach of such messages, political messages, should be and, and not bought. Now, that is according to the Twitter boss. Now, while internet advertising is incredibly powerful and very effective for commercial advertising, well, with power brings significant risks to politics. The company CEO Jack Dorsey tweeted, Social media rival Facebook recently ruled out a ban on political ads. Well, social media, I mean, Facebook seems to believe that for them it is okay. But news on the, on the ban actually divided America's political camps for the 2021 elections. Brad Pascoe, the manager of Donald Trump re-election campaign, said that the ban will yet is yet Another attempt by the left to silence Trump and the conservatives. But Bill Russell, the spokesperson of the campaign, to elect, uh, say that, well, to elect Democratic front, uh, runner Joe Biden said, I quote, when first with a choice between a dollar and the integrity, well, our, in our democracy, it is encouraging to know that for once, Revenue did not win. So it seems like actually the Democratic uh, Party in the U.S. is pro this ban. Well, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, the founder of Facebook, defended his company policy. And I quote, he says, In a democracy, I do not think it is right to for companies, private companies that is, to censure politicians on news, he said during a press conference with journalists. Well, Twitter's ban will be enforced on the 22nd of November with full details released by November 2015. Well, that was actually beyond borders. We are going to cross over and look at actually what is exactly happening in our papers locally this morning, still on Daybreaker. <music> Watu fina rekodi TV ku Star Times yo goberera emitendera jino wa manga ngoma zo kuteka ko dikoda yo nige pesa ya menu ku remote yo ya Star Times dikoda botangu za mchano zizo na nga toina rekodi TV damoni ge menu ku remote yo ogende ku setting au nige search channels ojiwe mwa kasera katono ero dinge paka ku 10 boyebe maze osobola kudai wononyeza channels Record TV oboja jifuna burunji kuchano bibiri ya bidi muemu. Wabula, bufuna moku tata aganyezibwa. Kwa sobulu kubila star times kuchitebe chikulo. Ngoita kuziru musafu ziru nya. Chikumia tanu muemu. Donana kumina tanu.
I'm indigenously up. This is who we are. This is Africa. This is, this is Indigenous Beats. Lisboa, menina e moça, menina Da luz que os meus olhos veem tão pura Teus seios são as colinas, varina Pregão que me traz à porta, ternura Cidade a ponto luz bordada Toalha à beira-mar estendida Lisboa, menina e moça, amada, cidade, mulher da minha vida. Today we're going to discover the city of the sea. Wonderful Lisbon is waiting for us. Eu vejo de nua quando um pombo te olha, sorri. És mulher da rua. E no bairro mais alto do sonho Ponho o fado que soube inventar Aguardente de vida e medroso Our tour begins in the World Heritage Belém Tower. This is one of the city's most photographed landmarks. Menina e moça, menina You can arrive here in a traditional electric tram. This will make the trip even more special. The fortress was built in 1515 and was a starting point for many of the great Portuguese voyages of discovery. Another impressive symbol of Portugal's power and wealth during the Discovery Age is the Geronimus Monastery. Undoubtedly a Lisbon must-go spot. Vasco da Gama spent his last night here praying before his trip to India. His tomb, as well as those of Luís de Camões and Fernando Pessoa, are also here. Avenida da Liberdade is the city's big central boulevard, known for its luxury shops and hotels. It was here that the Portuguese cobblestone pavement design was born. Pass through the triumphal arch and stop by the splendid Praça do Comercio. Here you will find nice cafes and restaurants. Portuguese cuisine is appreciated worldwide, so don't leave without tasting the local flavors. Vou viver até quando eu não sei que me importa o que se Quero é viver Take the tram uphill again, but this time stop by Portas de Sol. Appreciate the wonderful view of this amazing European capital. Dinner, try one of the restaurants around the Dockers de Santo Amaro. Or 
all of them offer wonderful views of the marina and of the iconic 25th of April Bridge. <laughs> Lisbon is such a memorable and charming city, so take your backpack and enjoy your trip. This weekend. Let me carry your burden. If something ain't right, I will let you know. Like the paint that's drying on a heart that's broke. Let me carry your burden. What do you wish you would have done sooner in life? Having a kid. Be fat Lisa made 25, dating a man who is loaded with money. I wish I'd known earlier that I wasn't going to have my dad. By the time I got pregnant, I was 21. They are authoritative with their money. I lost my dad when I was um, between five years to nine years. This guy was doing so many wrong things to me. But I couldn't see them. He wasn't even a perfect father. I went back to school knowing that any time that year, we shall go and, and, and live with our dad. I expected this guy to love me, to care for me. Even if you have money, you really hate it. I've been hustling as a single mother in my life. You know, a mom tries to play this role eh, of being like a dad, like a mom here. You know, he struggles so that um, children don't lack. But again, because there is another figure that you miss and you know you're not going to see this person again, it kind of haunts you. So I've grown knowing that. Um... This weekend on Urban Square. for joining us on Daybreaker. Well, in case you're just joining us, it is the time that we look at what is happening in the papers. Papers Review. My name is Nora Sende. We have looked at Beyond Borders at a recap of what transpired yesterday. Well, right now I have the Daily Monitor. I have the New Vision and the Red Paper. We're just going to take a glimpse of what exactly is happening in each and each and every copy of these papers. With the Daily Monitor this morning, 2,000 people, 2,000 police, I stand corrected, 2,000 police to guard Makere University. The student representatives, however, say that they will not be intimidated by the deployment, which seeks to ensure that more than a thousand lecture rooms across the university. Well, we are going to have a discussion about what is exactly transpiring at the oldest university in the country, right here on Daybreaker later. So let us just have a look at what else is happening in the Daily Monitor this morning. UNEB introduces new ways to curb exam malpractice. That's a story that we earlier on looked at. 
uh, when we were discussing and reviewing the stories exactly that's happening locally here. They're saying UNEB Executive Secretary, that's Daniel Ondong, says the new measures will ensure objectivity during the marking process. The Uganda National Examinations Board has introduced new measures to counter examination malpractice that's ahead of this year's primary living examinations to begin next week. The YACs, uh, this year's candidates will be issued random numbers instead of education management information system numbers used in the last examinations. Now they're saying all this is going to help curb the malpractice during the examination time, especially during the marking time, whereby you know, markers or teachers do not know exactly which schools are marking so that, you know, it remains anonymous so that it is fair and, and balanced at the end of it all. School inspectors blame poor performance on head teachers. That's uh, a new study has shown that the failure of some school administrators to implement recommendations raise inspection reports continues to affect teaching and learning in so many institutions. While uh, wife sues Uwa over husband killed by a hippopotamus. There's a wife here actually who is saying, Uwa must pay for the death of my husband who was killed by a hippopotamus. Let's just have a glimpse at this story and just see what exactly it is all about. The saying that Charles Bihinji was attacked by a stray hippo while walking in his garden. That's exactly in 2008, last year. Now, this woman has sued the Uganda Wildlife Authority seeking compensation for the death of her husband, who she says was killed by a roaming hippopotamus which strayed from a national park. Miss Jane, that's uh, 65, in her suit presented before High Court in October 23rd, contends that her husband Charles, who was uh, a catechist in a church in Uganda, was the sole breadwinner for nine family members and his demise has made them helpless and hopeless. They now want compensation from Ua. That's according to the Daily Monitor this morning. Mose uh, Kila to spend 14 years in jail. That's something that we earlier on looked at. 2,000 police uh, officers to guard Makere lecture rooms. Now, that's according to the Daily Monitor. The decision was made during a management meeting as a measure to defuse the riots at the university. That's something that we are going to look at this very morning. Makere University Management has resolved to deploy 2,000 police officers to secure its 1,000 lecture rooms for students and lecturers eager to resume studies despite the strike. Away from that, we have editors, activists condemn attacks on journalists. They called for action against individual security personnel and urged media houses to unite against the harassment. Several journalists deployed to cover the ongoing strike at Makara University by the, uh, by the university students uh, protesting against the 15% uh, tuition increment and nursing injuries they sustained in a line of duty. Now the journalists from different media houses were reportedly attacked by security personnel in an attempt to block them from covering the ruckus that is exactly happening at the University of Makerere. So they've come out to strongly condemn journalists said security personnel guided by those in civilian clothes, arrested, detained, and destroyed their gadgets and fire tear gas canisters in, um, in their amides. Uh, that's according, actually, to the papers. They're condemning the acts of violence on the journalists that go to cover these stories. Journalists are simply doing one thing, and that is 
being the eyes and the ears of the public, where the public cannot reach, the journalists are, to bring to you the story as they are, and they are simply doing their job. That is what journalists do. They are the light, they are the eyes of society, they are the ears of society. Where you and I cannot reach, they are there. And that is a message to everyone out there who are trying to actually uh, make the, the, the work of the journalists hard. Kadaga ad admits the weaknesses in parliament's performance. Now that is a story there that you can get a glimpse of. The speaker says that many times the house has not acted in its own recommendations. Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga has acknowledged the existence of gaps in the performance in Parliament. Well, you can get more details of that story. Unreal to consult banks on money and transfer law. Uh, that's actually the Uganda Revenue Authority says that they will engage the industry to develop a convenient mode of operation. Uganda Revenue Authority will not proceed with the enforcement of the law requiring anyone or anybody sending or transferring funds beyond the threshold of 50 million outside the country's borders to first obtain a tax clearance. There you go. Government gets 18 billion for creative industry. Well, the government has received 18 billion shillings that's to advance the country's cultural creative industry, the money donated by the Swedish uh, International Development Agency through the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organization will be used to implement relevant project activities by the Ministry of Labor, Gender and Social Development and the Uganda National Commission of UNESCO. Still so much going on here in our dailies this morning as we review the papers exactly on Daybreaker here. We are looking at the Daily Monitor and we are... Traversing around the world, we we'll bring you unbiased, diverse views. Saying it in your own space, on your own pain, on TT. Live events, <laughs> music, sports, lifestyle, soap. Well, welcome back. A tiny, tiny minute technical hiccup there, but life goes on and we move on as well here on the daily mo on the daybreaker. My name is Nora Sende. Switching on to the new vision. The new vision has its top story as the NSSF ready to invest in oil refinery. Well, let's just have a glimpse in the new vision. We were looking at the Daily Monitor. Pupils to use new codes in PLE next week. That's something that we had hinted on earlier on. Come returns to Makere University. That's according to the, uh, the new vision, actually. is telling us that Calm has returned to Makere University. Makere University was largely calm yesterday after days of clashes between, between security officers and students protesting at the university fees increment policy. RDCs get fresh directives over 2016-2021 uh, manifesto. And then we have new details emerge on Kajura's land deal. Well, new deals, uh, new details have emerged relating to circumstances under which the former premier and veteran politician, Mose Henry Kajura, entered into a disastrous transaction with a land money lender. Remember earlier on, we had told you that the former minister's house was actually going to be taken by a, a money lender. And... 
The paper is giving us the details, the sales documents and how he got into the mess and how he ended up into this whole land and property uh, deal that is not exactly doing him any good right now. The government project officers root for compulsory land acquisition. They're saying how, how chief executives uh, uh, superintending to over mega, over mega government uh, projects have championed the proposal to compulsory land acquisition, saying that it would curb the waste of public funds. New PLE coding system introduced. You find the details. You already had uh, a story discussion according to that. Singer Radio Kila given 14 years in jail. Parliament suspends 15% Makere fees increment. That's actually yesterday, according to Parliament, they suspended it. Museveni affirms his position on the death penalty. The debate as to whether the state should be clothed with powers to take away the life of a convict is one that has never lost its ability to stir emotions. Now, those opposed to the ultimate penalty site is its fi uh, finality and the possibility of sending an innocent person to the gallons on account of inherent flaws in Uganda's criminal justice system. However, now, President Museveni is saying that it is not convinced. Addressing, uh, addressing justices attending for the fourth African Judicial Dialogue on Wednesday, he said that he still subscribes to the Moses Law of an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That's according to President Museveni there. NSSF is ready to invest in the oil refinery, says Biaru. Biarugaba, the National uh, Social Security Fund, is ready to invest in the oil refinery. The managing director of the scheme, Richard Biarugaba, has said. He explained that the fund has already invested 40%. That's about $3.1 billion. That's uh, Uganda shillings, 11.4 trillion shillings value outside Uganda due to the limited investment opportunity within the country. We have here also 35 traders charged with theft. Kazimba names Catholic Muslims on his consecration committee. Well, fall down in River Rizzi. Police residents fight over body. Well, that's angry residents have clashed with police over the body of a nine-year-old which they retrieved from River Sezibwa. Now, residents who were led by their area local council one chairman, that's Charles Katerega, says that um, says that the town, in the town council Mukondo district accused police of failing to find the body of the deceased after seven days. So they are in a dispute between the police and the local residents. The residents are saying, well, you claim you failed to find this body and we found the body after seven days. So police uh, has no stake in that. Ginger Abattoir, election cancelled over the chaos. And then here we see how uh, make Huntington Day a public holiday. Parliament uh, Speaker Rebecca Kadaga has blamed the poor turnout on Bishop James Huntington Day on the failure by government to declare it a public holiday. The speaker was not exactly amused by the fact that the day was not celebrated and he called upon the government to make it actually a public holiday. Kabaka Roots for Social Values. That's Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutebi has blamed the global environment crisis on declined communal values. He called for revival of cultural civility, which he said would strengthen the communal spirit of shared values. There you go. There's still so much that is actually happening here in the world of the Daily Monitor. As I flip these pages, I want to go over to the Daily Monitor that I earlier on started with. Uh, we had talked about Kadaga admitting to weaknesses in Parliament's performance and the Uganda revenue to consult banks on money transfer law. 
saying the Uganda Revenue wants to engage the industry to develop convenient mode of operations. And then still, we uh, there's a story in the Daily Monitor here about set house officials sacked in two Chiseka market rangos. They're saying the vendors say that they want uh, to counsel Ida to refrain from the masters of the market and let courts perform their statutory duties. East Africa court lists six points in age limit case. You can get more details in the papers. They're talking about how police to deploy more officers in Somalia. They will serve under the formed police unit, increasing the number of Ugandan officers in Somalia to more than 300. There, Uganda, the government is increasing the number in Somalia. Still in the Daily Monitor this morning, will Oyam live up to its 2020 development plan is the question. There, the development plan of the district stagnated during the LRA insurgency. And the question is, will Oyam live up to its 2020 development plan? Mukono officials agree to share contestant land. You can get more details there. One dead and ten injured in UPDF operations. Soldiers attached to the FPU have been accused of torture while arresting suspects engaging in illegal fishing on the legs of Uganda. Residents stranded as Kalilo Palisa bridge floods due to the heavy rains. Well, we are giving you a glimpse of what's happening in the dailies, but you can get yourselves more details once you get yourselves a copy of exactly what's in transpiring today. We are going to take a quick break. We'll be back with our topical discussion, a topic that everyone has a glimpse about. That is the strike at Makere University. What is the status quo saying? What is exactly is the state of affairs with strikes at Makere? Debreka continues. A very good morning. Traversing around the world, we bring you unbiased, diverse views. Saying it in your own space, on your own pain, on TV. Live events, music, sports, lifestyle, soaps. And news that capture the truth behind the visual. At Rico Television, Tree Invade is our brand. Oh, by the war, be the war. Flesh and clean, good and clean. Don't cheat a rock. So it's a city of Kuraza. You're gonna go take a kill in my love in a brand new city. Papuda, 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 I don't want young. 
Uki, uki ya kama upepo utapepea Uki jifanyo na mapepo tunakepe Bon boy Na kufuna na sala stress Ela kupata kwa baby ya mapolis chess Zada, zada, ni kunyo ndogo One man, den, 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 donge kore Mwala wazo kuse na kumbapo kwenye gay Baby laka ko Mama, ebango bari wanika Ba, ba, bari wanika back. It is Daybreaker. I am Nora Sende and it is a topical discussion time. Well, I, I am with a gentleman who is a leader in so many spheres in life and he is no stranger on the Daybreaker show. Very insightful, very knowledgeable. Someone who is going to give us insights as we discuss about Makere University. Makere University, everyone is talking about Makere University. And not exactly in good times. There are some days when it has been known for its research as being excellent. But this time around, it is the trend of riots. Riots and riots at Makere University. Well, the state of affairs at Makere University, is there a lasting solution to it? Is there a lasting solution to the state of affairs at Makere University with the ongoing riots? This very morning, I am joined by Simon Senyonga. It's so good to have you on the show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we have been actually having to follow day in, day out, mm. the trend at Makere University. Yes. And uh, it's riot after riot every mm -hmm. single day. Mm. What is happening at Makere University? Um, what are the entrenched problems mm. at Makere University? I think um, from the best of my knowledge in the current state, um, there is a policy that uh, the university would love to pass or ha is in the process of passing or has passed at certain stage that is affecting the current uh, students, um, an incremental 15% tuition policy, yes. whereby um, I think for every semester or every academic year, you have the tuition increasing. So what, what that means is that students have to pay quite a lump sum of money, um, especially that uh, you look at the quality of the students, you look at the, the quality of the people that are admitted, mm -hmm. which is really most of them are seeking for a better education, they are not the best, uh, they are not the most privileged mm -hmm. in society. And then because of that, the students rise up and um, protest against um, these, uh, uh, these particular tuition policies. And I think also the underlying issues concerning the, the state of the governance and the leadership in the university, specifically, I think it has been mentioned, the vice chancellor of the university, and I think some other professors around him, and I think his personal assistant, who act arbitrarily in taking decisions, specifically, the unfair suspension and illegal suspension of uh, students, both indefinitely, others permanently, without necessarily constituting um, a disciplinary committee to follow the right procedure. Now, because of that, students feel that they are being uh, oppressed. Um, so you're imposing an unfair policy, mm -hmm. but also executing decisions arbitrarily. Mm -hmm. And as such, students express their freedom of expression through um, peaceful assembly, which the police has uh, intervened and also deployed the army to 
persecute the students for their rights. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting, Simon, how you say peaceful mm. assembly. Yes. There's nothing that looked peaceful about mm. that whole assembly at Makere University. Oh, I think my experience at the university, um, having, having been one of those who participated aggressively in the strikes, the strike intentionally is meant to be peaceful. Mm -hmm. But uh, normally, the police is always, as usual, it always has a knee-jerk reaction in everything that it does. And also because um, the, most of the leaders always want to act uh, high-handedly. They will always uh, suppress the students. So um, they are meant to be peaceful, but uh, subsequently the police stand makes them uh, violent. And you know, because of that, um, ideally, the government has that law, the Public Order and Management Act, whereby if you're going to make a, a, an assembly, you're supposed to notify the police. Now, definitely the police will never give you permission or um, it will never guarantee your safety. So because of that, they come in to quell the riots and uh, the tourist turns out bloody. Simon, you were at Makere University mm -hmm. and you have been a leader in all spheres, so mm. many spheres that I mm. won't get into. Yes. And uh, like in your honest opinion, mm -hmm. if the students came out and mm -hmm. acted in mm -hmm. civil disobedience, mm -hmm. don't you think the same reaction would come from the administration? Mm -hmm. Like in, without necessarily having to be very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Why does it Makere University have that culture? Why mm -hmm. has it been strike in, strike out, year mm -hmm. after year? For some reason, mm. it feels like it is enshrined mm. that this is how we are listened to at mm. Makere University. Mm. And we cannot just walk out with our letter and petition the administration mm. and probably just sit down and probably, you know, for us to be heard. Mm. Do something civil, but something that will actually pressurize the administration mm. without necessarily going on with running battles mm. and uh, like teacher, I mean, uh, students missing out on, mm. on lectures and all this chaos, you know. Mm. Why, why is that so? Why do you think that is so? I think uh, the question you put to me, number one, civic disobedience is not illegal because you see it's ensuring in Article 29 of the Constitution mm -hmm. that you have a freedom of expression and, ex and you can express and actually you can uh, demonstrate your, you can uh, demonstrate and exercise your civic rights mm -hmm. through demonstration, peaceful demonstration at that. But even if then it was violent, <clears throat> the police has to use, uh, or the security agencies have to use proportional force in the quelling of the riots. Now, the question you say, that can the university students of Makere University ever handle anything without necessarily striking? Mm -hmm. You look at it from two sides. Number one, you have students who have grievances and they want to come out to exercise their rights, but on the other hand, you have an administration that is not a cooperative with the students because they always feel that they have to act high-handedly and they have to they have to um, they have to act always for the government without considering the key stakeholders who are students. Now the thing is that is there a platform which has been given for the students to dialogue? Um, it has only come in when there was uh, when the strike happened and even when the strike happened the nature of the dialogue was not uh, fair. You find that the students were being intimidated. I was told of some of the council members, specifically a lawyer who may not be at liberty to mention, um, who actually intimidated the students and told them that actually they can be expelled from the university. Now, dialogue ought to be fair, it ought to be balanced, it ought to be reasonable. Where that standard is actually not met, then you expect students to rise up um, to fight for their rights. And you know, the students are not fighting for, for only their current rights, but they're fighting for the other generations. I wouldn't have enjoyed the Makere I enjoyed if the people who were there before had not stood their ground concerning particular matters. Now, the final point that I can make is that Makere University is um, a hub of intellectual, intellectual discourse. Now, intellectual discourse can only be existent where you have an administrator who is willing to have a discussion and a dialogue with the students, not necessarily passing a policy unfairly. The defense of the university has been that the previous guild is the one which actually caused um, the passing of this policy and there was consultation and there was all these things. But you see, if you follow the history of what actually caused all that, yeah. You have uh, a guild president who was compromised by the state. You have uh, some of his ministers resigning and coming against the policy. But because they had the vote at the council level, the policy was then forcefully passed. And uh, the president then, the leader then, um, I think got some sort of benefit from the government. 
Now, because of that, the students' opinions and the students' views were not ideally concerned. The other thing that you talk about is that um, discussion, as you want to portray it right now, should be in the what you're, you're talking about an ideal state. Now, Makere University is not having that ideal set of discussion, whereby you just petition. They will treat your petition as just mere papers. They will not consider it as something serious. There will always be this force of it, telling you that, you know, you're not the first to be here, just be here for a short time and you leave. But you see, it is one thing being there for a short time and I leave, but it's also another thing when I am there and I'm oppressed and I leave in a very hard way. The tuition that they are charging on these students, number one, it does not actually necessarily translate into effective services provided because previously it hasn't been done. The other thing is that there is no guarantee for these students they won't have the best jobs out there because um, what, you know, it's not proportional to the kind of the kind of services offered and the kind of expectation and the societal needs that a student has to be has to has to interact with after their university stay so um, can they do it uh, civically in a civil way um, I think if at all the situation was ideal mm -hmm. yeah. If the situation was ideal, mm. that means, uh, well, it is not exactly mm. a very ideal situation at Makere. Mm. Makere University students, mm. well, have been engaged in running battles for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. It has called so many people's attention. Mm. And uh, it is a story that I would like us to just have a look at briefly before we continue actually with this very discussion this morning. Well, as they actually get set there, mm. Simon, yeah. Makere University is mm. a public university. Mm -hmm. Well, most of the funding mm. is from the taxpayer's money, mm -hmm. exactly. And so we see a challenge here. Mm. Is it an administrative challenge mm. or is it a problem with mm. the government? Mm. Because if these issues keep on reoccurring, mm. you know, and then the strikes, and then there is money, money being increased. Mm. This should be an issue that is not exactly being dealt with. Mm. This is a public university. Should we look at the government? Should we look at the administration? All the students, what is exactly happening here? I think as you rightly say, um, we need to first of all analyze who are this, the key stakeholders in the yeah. university. You have the government, you have the administration, you have then the student, and uh, you, know, you may have also the non-teaching staff and you know, or the teaching staff. Now, the thing is that, number one, it's not true that actually the biggest fund in the university comes from the taxpayers' money. Mm -hmm. You see, when the NIM took power in 1986, it uh, adopted the privatization of public institutions. Mm -hmm. Now, when that privatization comes in, you have a, a sort of a cost-sharing policy or a cost-sharing benefit. Now, I, the ideal situation is that this cost-sharing uh, cost pattern should be able to enable the people, the public, to actually get the best services, which is not actually happening. So, you turn the guns to who exactly is to blame. Number one, the students pay the tuition. Now, whether on time or not, the, pub, the, 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 the government has to make sure that there is sufficient funding. Now, you've heard over time that actually even you've seen the council members and some officials from the university appearing before the education committee of the parliament mm -hmm. and telling them that actually the, pub, the government does not provide enough funding. So, at an institutional level, there is a lack of proper funding or sufficient funding for the services. Number two, that even when the funds come, there is a, the, the nature of the system is not one which is transparent, one which is um, devoid of corruption. There have been a plethora of reports which have been presented before the parliament to actually show mm -hmm. that there are a number of high-level government officials who do backdoor deals through the university. Mm -hmm. The other thing that happens with the university is that the politicization of the administration. You find that the people who are appointed into leadership are um, stooges of the sitting government or the sitting regime, or you're having just mere clones who are representative of the government. So you have people who are simply on the bargaining end of the government, but not considerate of the not considerate of the of the of the of the future of the university. So all they are doing is that they 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 sit fillers temporarily, but not necessarily interested in the advancement of the education and the state of the affairs at the university. So the administration number one is to blame. Number two, the students are also to blame. Mm -hmm. Reason being that the kind of leaders that they elect or they choose, because you see this policy emanates from a leadership which was um, which acted unfairly 
um, in regards to the student's interests. It was corrupted, it was bribed. So when you have the politicization of the student politics, whereas it may give, um, it, may, it may expand intellectual discourse, but it also opens up the arena for uh, the arena of, um, of uh, corruption and compromise from the politicians and the forces that be. So you have leaders who simply ride on, uh, opposition, on opposition cards to come and win the popular vote, but actually don't have the, the students' interests at heart. You're having students who are not actually, student leaders who are not standing in integrity and honesty to dialogue. So you will have just temporary strikes. And I also, I think, uh, I would partly agree, I think, with what the communications official of the university said, that you have student guild leaderships which come in to simply outdo what the previous leaderships have done for the sake of relevance. Because again, many of the leaders who come into um, leadership at the university level are not those who are going to engage into serious intellectual discourse. They don't have any solid agendas for the university. So all they do is that they ride on uh, sentiment, they ride on emotion, they ride on, uh, they ride on, the, on, a, on, a, on a weak system as, a, as opposed to contributing to the building of the system. And you have many of them simply um, camera happy or camera hungry people just seeking for fame and popularity. Perhaps hoping that after they have made a statement at that university level, they can then be taken up by these political parties for the sake of leadership. So the challenge is with the government in regards to the funding, the administration in regards to the transparency and the handling of the resources, and then at another solid level, the nature of the leadership. You have students who are not even, I mean, many of them are striking, but even in fact, they don't actually understand the nature of this policy. Many of them are just simply stirred up, and many of them actually are not willing to have any serious alternative policies and discussion on the, at a policy level for the universities. I mean, what kind of students are you having if they're not willing actually to engage? They're not willing to have, they're not willing to research and give any other alternative practices. What kind of leadership are you having which can be compromised by the government? And actually, you know, many of those guys are probably taken away somewhere and here, and they are given a few handouts here and there to come and uh, betray the, the students' cause. Oh yeah, mm. unfortunate. Mm. And uh, when you talked about being compromised by mm. the government, mm. on the other hand, mm. there is also something about opposition actually mm. fueling the strikes mm. at Makere University. Mm. So much as we have a scenario where we have what going on, mm. that actually there is comp the was compromised mm. by, by, by the government mm. in the leadership of Makere University, especially the ones that passed you know, the 15% increment, mm -hmm. that actually the students have backtracked on mm. this commitment claiming that it's, you know, it does not serve their interests, mm. Mm. there is also uh, a say mm. that actually external factors, mm. external people are fueling riots mm. at Makere University mm. to portray, especially the, the government, in a very unpopular light. Mm. Uh, what is your view on that? Well, the question is, uh, well, really the question shouldn't be about whether the opposition fuels or not. Number one, is being in opposition illegal? Emphatically, no. Is opposition fueling um, their interests and advancing their interests in the, through the university leadership wrong? Emphatically, no, because they are citizens and they are entitled. The very way you're talking about the opposition is the very way you can talk about the government actually fueling the nature of the discontent, the popular discontent happening at the university. So, not a question of who, who fuels what. Secondly, even if they were to fuel, the, the riots at the university. Mm -hmm. They would have fuel, can they fuel, can, they, can the fueling be successful if at all you have the government doing their work? It wouldn't be successful. The government is not doing their work. The opposition is pushing through the student's leadership. And that is not wrong. If the government can do what it has to do, then they can be able to do that. The only thing that I could disagree, that I could actually hold the opposition accountable for if they are fueling criminal acts within the university. For as long as it is criminal, then they can be actually prosecuted. But about exercising civic liberties and uh, aggressively taking over um, the political space in the university, it is not wrong. The public has a lot, the, the government has a lot of um, house cleaning to do on its side, but also the opposition has to aggressively come and keep the government in check. The purpose of the, the purpose of the opposition is to always actually give alternatives to the government, but also to come in with the way the opposition is set up in Uganda to discredit what the government is doing. And discrediting is not actually wrong. Discrediting can be, um, it can be, a, can be a, 
um, uh, um, an aspect of expressing your views about what you, the only thing is that um, you have leaders who are not tolerant and because of that they will label them as uh, wrong people but if the government was, was not was doing its work the position wouldn't be having um, that sort of thing oh well mm. that is well said simon we are discussing the state of affairs at Makere university I'm with Simon Senyonga and we are looking into the deep-rooted issues at the university. Why don't we take a break as we'll be back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, you're 97.7. Record your film to Sabla Hits all day. Wakati mimi mtima kwa Kampala, we the best shows. Na tutan kana UG breakfast show. Aka uwo, ofa ku 12 mpaka saa nyizo kumacha. The Hit Club. Omobezi, sawa nyo mpaka mwendezo mtoto. The Big Evening. Ababa, sawa mwenda mpaka mwi akaongeze. The Hot 7 at 7 countdown. Mtubudi ni nyimbe singo kuja. The hottest and the biggest songs when now ku 97.7. At the love at heart, the love at heart. Oh, my queen, my baby. It ain't the same old baby. But I'm so full of joy. Late night, cause we're gonna be on radio singing to you on 97.7. Record your film. Record your film. Record your film. To sell the hits all day. All day. Following the failure by both Council and the University Guild to resolve the 15% increment impasse that is taking a toll on the campus with strikes increasing every day, students called for an assembly today in the Freedom Square but this was interrupted as police didn't allow anything to happen in the square. Tension grew from halls such as Kuruma as students continuously chanted fees must fall, which prompted police to fire tear gas which also ended up in the university library. As tension grew, students moved out of their halls, running to surrounding areas such as Chikoni and Chikumi Chikumi, however, declaring that they shall not stop until the 15% is dropped. As all this happened, police also did not rest as it continuously fired tear gas in all areas. This must fall, everything after us. We stand strong. We are fighting for your children, for your children to come, and for our future, future children. But now, Uganda, this is not just a thing. Police is not going to be able to You have students, you have parents, you have children. Even after the president passing a directive for the military to vacate the university premises, some military personnel were seen battling students who had gone on the strike in the areas of Chikumi Chikumi. Restarting the chance against the 15% increment in the areas of Chikoni, this carried a coffin as they moved from Canon Hostels towards the main road of Sir Apollo Kagwa, mentioning several names of university leaders, and later set it on fire. <laughs>
Speaking to a few students involved in the strike, this stress that come what may, the strike shall not stop not until the university pulls back on the 15% policy. Dissatisfied with what is happening, with the resolution these guys came up with yesterday, they didn't give us what we wanted fully. They gave us just a bit of it. For us, we don't want the 15% of the tuition so that everything comes back to normal. About the library, the military entered, they chased the students who are inside the library, students were reading. So the situation is really bad, they found students, they beat them, the situation in Makere is really bad. Nothing is really enjoyable at the moment. As the day enhanced towards evening, a few members of the Guild Council we spoke to highlighted that they are moving to take their concerns to the speaker, Rebecca Kadaga. However, as this proceeded, a new notice from Makere University was issued, having names of nine students to be suspended and 26 who are warned against suspension. Shamim Nawakoza, Godwin Kaizi, for Speak Uganda, Record TV. It is Daybreaker. We are having a discussion about the state of affairs at the oldest university in Uganda. Makere University has been involved in running battles for the last two weeks. Is it the way to go? Will it solve any problem? Are there underlying issues that are not being resolved? Is this the culture at the university? With me, I have Simon Senyonga. Um, discussing some of these things now simon what does this do to makere brand as very uh, renowned universities surely these strikes do not portray um, makere university in a very good light isn't there what amicable way can actually the students use to put out their grievances and make sure they are met but at the same time maintain a good reputation. Can the courts of law address this, really? Well, number one, you seem to portray the issue of Macquarie University, the, the debacle at the Macquarie University, solely as a responsibility of the students. I think that shouldn't be the issue. Mm -hmm. There are actually many stakeholders here who should be involved in the discussion. The question of the reputation of the university does not necessarily stand on only the students alone. Remember the students, you want a university with a great reputation, but you have people who are going to go through it, but they must be able to be proud of the university. Reputation is not built by being suppressive. Reputation is not built by being pretentious in the midst of uh, oppressive uh, tendencies by administrators who should be actually reasonable and tolerant when there is intellectual discourse. So the question of reputation should, should be balanced at all levels of the stakeholders. If the government is so concerned about the pressure of the university, then they should be doing their work. If the administrators are concerned, they should be doing their work. But also if the students are concerned, they should be doing their work. And I think the students are doing well. They are doing their work by exercising their freedoms. And you know, you, you cannot really raise the reputation of the university above the people who are going through it. So you cannot, you, cannot, you cannot use the carrot and the stick method, and you know you're saying that the reputation is there, but you know you must keep quiet about what is actually oppressing you. You can't keep on um, feigning ignorance about the things that are actually hurting the students and actually going to cost them an education, a good life. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and a quality education when uh, you're talking about only the reputation. So reputation in the midst of all this should be considered as a key priority by all the stakeholders by doing their responsibility. Can the courts of law address this? Yes, I think the courts of law can actually address this if the students actually considered going there. I think they can, um, if at all the policy, were, if you know, like the question of the suspension of the students, the students could seek for judicial review in the courts of law. I think there's a popular case. There have been a couple of cases cases where Macquarie University has been sued. I think the most popular one in the recent past has been the case of Ivan Bowe and uh, others versus um, the Macquarie University Council and others, whereby um, this uh, gentleman, then he was the guild president and he was involved in a strike, and um, the university arbitrarily suspended, indefinitely suspended from the university. So he went to the courts of law to seek for judicial review, what really actually means that the court had to, to overturn, to question the nature of the of the decision that was made. Number one, there was a lack of a fair hearing, then there was no proper committee that was instituted, then there were pro procedural improprieties in the whole passing of the decision. So the courts of law to that extent can actually address the question of unfair and illegal 
suspension of the students. But also, I, I would think that maybe if this policy had been passed, then the, the students can, can, can resort the courts of law to actually, um, to actually um, halt the policy, perhaps by getting a, a temporary or a permanent injunction concerning this. And I'm also hoping that they can be much more astute because you see yesterday the Speaker of Parliament um, sat in with the Parliament and I can just, uh, what, what's what they agreed on? The Speaker of Parliament directed the, directed the university they directed the government to hold a further increment of the tuition fees until the sustainable remedy is concerned. Directing the university management to immediately rescind the suspensions in, uh, which is issued against the students um, based on the students' protests. Then also directed the university management to rescind any plans to interfere with the manner students elect their leaders. You know, one of the issues concerning uh, causing this strike is that the university wants to pass electoral reforms, which actually are going to affect the way students um, choose their political leaders. Then uh, the final one was directing the government to table a supplementary budget request to ease on the current suffering of the students and their benefactors. Now, these resolutions of parliament are supposed to be acted on by the, by the university management. Now, should they fail, I'm hoping that the students can also go ahead in the courts of law to actually um, take on the government, to take on the government and the university management to, for failure to comply with the directive of the parliament. And as such, it affects um, the whole rule of law and respect of institutions such as the parliament. Well, that is uh, very, very insightful, mm. Simon. Mm. And then uh, with the with the you know with the strike that has mm. actually been so publicized mm. we have seen actually also you know um, because there are actually students who want to study mm. but we see this also having an, an effect mm. well doesn't it isn't it going to affect the quality mm. of the output Mm. of the students from Makere University. Mm. Do the students actually think about that? Mm. I do not want to make it seem like, you know, I am actually putting the blame on the students. Mm. That is not it. Yes. But when you look at it, this whole semester mm. is almost gone, you mm. understand? And so there won't be any extension yes. in time for mm. their studies. But at the same time, when, when, when we look at... Um, uh, the sustainability of the university in mm. terms of finances. Mm. These are hard times mm. economically. Mm. Yeah? And so when the university comes and says, okay, we, are, we, are, we want more money. Mm. Yeah? Mm. I mean, it, it happens. Mm. Like almost in most uh, 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 businesses or companies. Mm. Prices are increased mm. in, in, in schools. We have primary schools, you know, mm. they come up and they say, okay, we need, we need more money for this and this. You mm. understand? Mm -hmm. Why can't the students at university also just sit and, and try to understand the, the side of the administration in that regard? Mm. I think you, you posed to me a two-pronged um, question. Number one, concerning whether the students are considerate of this fact, but also on the other side, what can the management do? Yeah. Number one. The right to education, which is enshrined under Chapter 4 of the Constitution, mm -hmm. um, is really supposed to be looked at in four parts. Number one, education must be accessible, it must be affordable, mm -hmm. it must be quality education, and must be available. Now, where there is a compromise on any of those four tenets that constitute the right to education, then you're violating and actually derogating in essence, the right to freedom of education. Yeah. That what this tuition policy is doing, number one, is denying, it's, not, it's making the education at Macquarie University non-affordable. Mm -hmm. It's also making it non-accessible. But also in essence, it will uh, affect the quality of the education. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're going to have very many diligent and committed students who would have actually been the best to be in the university, not being able to access. And as such, you're having them not uh, actually having the best education. Number two, it also has, it has a very, very big um, hit back mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on the nature of the lecturers. Because you see, I'm imagining a lecturer, a professor at a university who is earning maybe five million from the university and the University of Nairobi is saying, come and we give you 15 million. You're going to have a lot of, um, you're going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, quality professors running around as such. The education will not be good. On the other side, what can the government do? 
the sustainability plan if i'm now talking about if i was talking as a devil's advocate on behalf of the government there has to be a sustainability plan you see the thing is this most of the students are not considerate reason being that um the nature of the leaders they have always want to outdo what previous leaders have done number two in a society which is growing and i think at that side i can i can partly agree with what the minister of education miss jeneta kataham seven said she said that you know what look at make a comparative analysis of um, macquarie university versus other private institutions look at where we are going look at uh, the quality of education you guys are having inevitably there has to be an increment but it has to be reasonable and it has to be considerate so the question of increasing the tuition has to one time be discussed honestly and genuinely but it has to be discussed when you're actually having um, the interests of the students at heart and also considering their views well said simon the issue at Macquarie university has to be dealt with openly with honesty with both interests at the heart of all the stakeholders well, it is the daybreaker, Simon. Mm. It has been a very good discussion. Thank you very always, much for hosting me. Always, I look forward to seeing you soon, some other time. Thank you. Well, the state of affairs at Makere University, what are the underlying issues, has been our topical discussion this very morning. It is the daybreaker, Nora Osende. We are going to leave now, but we say do have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and we hope to see you on Monday. Did you know that apples were one of the first fruits to be cultivated by man? Brought to Europe from the Middle East, the fruit adapted well to the European weather and travelled quickly to other continents. A great source of vitamin C and fibre, this fruit can bring many health benefits. Some of them are related to lung and respiratory improvements. Apples give a feeling of fullness and can be eaten at any time of the day. Myth or truth? True. Nutritionists believe that you can eat an apple at any meal of the day, including at night. Apples also help reduce bad cholesterol and decrease the risk of a stroke. So, enjoy this delicious and healthy fruit.
mbagali za mikisa miere Ebi sima Bisikale nga bie yongera mbula mubwa mwa Na inga mkasera kano it's a Friday As you all know I'm always excited on Friday Banange mbane sunga weekend Mpumule mkunde kera woku kera Bane mwende keno mkunde kesanyu linzita I'm very happy <laughs> Sanyo po, wawe, ene mwe, lakatuwe nga tuwe yongira yuka ambatani kire wo Tuso wanda kwa nga tuita kwa mubu yimba, obwe njo vlo Elanga tansi na kaimba ka sonso mola Akaimba kadono kamwana mwala manjiduanga sera Elango ono, amane jingi wa fresh daddy Omanyi fresh daddy katini evi oku yimba, taku makuku yimba kuka Okufu reyava muaga naga kalifo wa, okufu weyava Mbad character records ya kalifa aga naga Nga manager webu telefu na ya sovo lo kugula we chibi ine chiche Elanga mchibi ina chino Already ya saini ze muda mwana mwala manjidu anga sevra He's a very nice artist by the way Mwala yimba bulunja ine doboze Elie wo wo Ochitege doboze elinyo mwa kuhuli ranga Tedidi kwa music, tedidi kwa chidongo Kuga mangoli huli ranga kalu na inga liku omera Elanga of course mugenda kuba mfuna kakisoku mwili lako nga yimba Nga tali kwa chidongo chona Muka kasenti ya bana jebali ya baina maloboze Nenga kaimba keba mbike ya kata keka kama nyiduanga sonso mola Elanga kaimba ako already ya katele demu management ya fresh dad Ye manager weka tio mkuku utifo Nenga mkasera kano ati wetufude mkaimba ako utele vutu So wadu kukenda kwa mkaimba kama nyiduanga tatu Akaimba kano kamwana mulenza manjiduanga King Simba is a very nice boy by the way is a very nice boy King Simba nkutumi deko na wana walina bao Muka mwa mutamu wale kwe kumila kuza sosa Bwento nengina mkaimba kamatala Okuve wa wini ni waje Swangs Avenue Butele vike katusiza kusawa ya fe Elange da chika zoziri kuminatano zoka Eza kaita kusawa safi zoku macha Butele vumba nyingi dewo ate ngamba Ntandi kila wa Ntandi kile wa Ntandi kile wa liro wa nange Kama Maole le ronga ansu seko Na ye anyway Kanta andikile jena ba nta andikide Oluna kwa rora le ronga nda kutandikila kwa mauli la agenda ku Maole by the way bika sera gaba gatuleta Ama ziga kumutima Enyike kumutima Elanga ngenda kogera kumwa na mule nzi Ama nyiduanga moze radio Yes may he rest in peace vambi Na inga vila vikavyo now Kufajabi ya tandikila paka mka sera kano I believe oluna kwa regulo Bia sobo do kutuka kumkome kero ya vyo Iye kwe gamba chetua ya gali zemba Zichu ya gaya mazena akula che Ya mazena na nasula Mwa na mule nzi e ya ta Moze radio mugu tanua Na chonchong Ngerako, ransonga techali chigende Leruwa chebambi Wabula nsobi ya jana jikola Ate nsobi ya lite sola kuzika wo Njokera kumwana mula nzoyo ama nyiki Duanga Troy Tenga manyaga matufu ye Godfrey Wamala na inga Masinga ba manyinga Troy Mwana mula nzoyo mujukira Eya back Bageza kukubanga bara nila mubala Yene moze radio Bageza kukubanga mfuru mjebala Uraka vya kari wo Mubu tanwa na mkuba wansi Moze radio echa mvira ko echisago Eda echa mule tira no kutu kukufa Na yoru na kwa regulo Oluvanyma romu waka mula mbanga Bawele mnemba no musango Koti high court yentebe Umuli omula muzama nyiduanga Justice Jen Obodo Butele vya sobodo kubanga akwa Kole nsala wo ye Ranga mkusala wo Wamuna kachiko kakoti kona Basa zaune bagamba troye Bamu wade emiaka kuminena Ngalimu komera Bamu salide emiaka kuminena Oroku tamoze radio May he rest in peace Ranga mkasera kano By the way, java demi yaka kumine satu, emiezi satu, then nena kunya. Almost jibe miaka kumine na ransongo reda savi nzo mwaka mulamba mche, mwaka mulamba mkomera. Na inga mkasera kano, kwe gamba vyo nabila bikabitu seku mkome kere do ya vyo. However much, abantu waba musiba sanyo fo, kwecho koti che ya sazewo, oba kwecho mulamuzi ama nyiduanga jen, obodo che ya sazewo kuuntebe hai koti, na ya tera aba muba amatide. Ngaba gamanti osange chivonezo cha wewe dachumu, Gwana Ronsonga, omutu kwa ya jamubula mwensi Aweba machichari mwutanua Tachada, atenga Uganda ya jire Telo kubange luzinga omu kwa Antuwa bakulu, haba manye, haba che Haba nene, elango we believe Even right now, tusubira Ntio moyo kwa moza radio Kukamba kukenda kukakana Kukendo kumule mirembe Kwa kubanga, maybe omzimuga kubade Guguta ya ya, orenso Bia ya kole kwa mkasera kano kekasera Kakano mtima bambi, abenga yeba Kamirembe, abenga umulida jala mirembe So mwana mlezo yo Ama nyitu wanga Godfrey wa mala Oredo na koregulo high court yentebe ya musalide Eranga omula muzama nyitu wanga jenye ya musalido musango Bwacho ogwamu 
manslota ne baba nga bamuwa emyaka 14 nga asiridwa mukomera eruzira we just want to say awo uh, moyo gwo mugenzi moze radio gubenga gwo mulira jala mirembe no mukama ayongero kubanga kwegamba msonyi wa ebye bya musobako wadenga family ya moze radio yo simmativu kweche cha saridwawo egambo musajjo no bamuwa de emyaka mitone emyaka 14 no mtu asobolo jiwulungula nava mukomera na damu na sinka na family yo blambo ene busigalanga butambula na yato wawe bamu bajjako atenga tagenda kudda atenga te bamu jako family yo kawabula Uganda yo na music industry ye Uganda ya Fira but anyway oko kwekwa ba doctor la okwe koti tetsola kuwa kanya may he so rest in peace omoyo gwa moze radio omkama yongera kupanga gumu za mirembe na yenga te wetugeza ko kubanga tufuna moment of silent ya second zinga tano wetunga tusabira omoyo gwa mugenzi butona te bambi tuongera kupanga tumweleze sala au mule mirembe ate waliwo mwana mulenza banyi twanga Jamie Kaucha abasinga mmanye is a good songwriter and is an artist yasobodde koba yasobodde okolera moze radio tribute ya kayimba kabala gavu singing with angels kayimba kabala gavu nyo eranga tribute eno baji kwa gamba baji baji yimbi demos of radio nga jemi kawucha yimu yimbi atenga yimu wandisi so mkasera kano as we are having a moment of silence lekate tuwenga tumweleza na kayimba kano yona jali omutima kwe kongeroku kakana wa muno kwe bakemine mbebo tarevo bampa kayimba ka jemi kawucha singing with angels Butele, butele, vo, I think we're going to have a new year's akayimba. Konja kubanga kwa maybe ngasibula or raka disigenda kubanga ninda vinci. But of course, in jungle and benga tengi na msuri ya fe idako. Elanga suri ya fe idako wangina genda kwa ewa mchala manjidwanga full figure. Wanange katonda ya. Ne katonda te ya kulanga kunsimbi. Katonda ya kula bibala na miti. Wabula, omutu ya kula senti ya tukula bubi. Ero mtuwe ya kola sente ya tuta. Wekuma mwuzi kwa kaa sitani kwe bache kakunsi za ali nsimbi. Ochitengi la ransonga. E nsimbi almost vili chintu kwe chikola che kwe chitambulida. Ne muna nge ya mkasela kano. Awa singa tuwade tumanyi o mchela ama nyiduanga fulu figa. Nsiye mchela o mkuku tivo wa people power. Elanga buli wabade atambulida. E chikonde chonava da chifunya no mkono na guwani kila jara mubanga. Okula gila jara ntiva nage. Chine chivina sichivamu chine chivina kwe ndira bantu banji bagudde mutagalyo rap people power bantu banji bavumidwa full figo rap people power bantu banji baba we mudde o rap people power eranga byo ne bigamba bibadde bizito bibadde bawa mchalo ya manyidwanga full figo na yemu nange recently walwa mauli aganga nga saturating anti full figo President we guanga Joel Kaguta Museveni amwadde um, emotoka wamuno omusimbi okugenda okubanga gumuntu wali za jalabulu nchi nyo kwegambe bintu bine bimu abenga abyeso nyi wabibenge bitakola che bibenge bitali wale kerawo kubanga avuma abache abantu tetwa manya yasoka naliyegana naliyegani yadanga nebo mpenga akatonda tava mu chigambo naye munange kadadda cholu na ko regulo yasobodde kubanga vayo mu lujude nagamba asaze ediro Bwanyi kini senye nyindo, omara no jire cho musayi. Pipo pawa wa kore de mintu minji. Pipo pawa wa bere de wo. Pipo pawa wa wani di de. Netari angaya de omu tuwa lo gwe nsimbi. Kachati no jake cho kare cha sente ya nichigumi kiliza. Kwa na wa ntuwa chari wa che, ama ntuwa chari wa avo. Na yene mkwata, ne mulonde kabinenti. Egendo kutambuli la kubobi waini bili ya bili mugumu. Furu figa ne muta muwachi fo. E chintuwa cho cha mwenye zanyo. E chintuwa cho cha mwenye ganyo. Yo, so mkulu we guanga, wama mkule meze we guanga, bo yavu deo na gamba, haa, mwana guange muzukulu, wachi makubo nyabu nyanga sente tusikola tuzina, haa, haa. Muzukulu wange, jangu mku waku nsimbi ya moto kavugane ofisi hiyo, no gufogu, bo chichi chochi anonya, aga katonda, tuwa jirebi tiwa, fulu figa ya sazediru, nga tatu mudena mabiga na gamba, haa, haa, bananga wanyo, wow, wow. E walunji te waba wamwe Banange people power Mba sivu denze nyeze Elevi gambo bia bimu bia yakoze sanganga Wana people power Katibi ya bigambo bia bimu Bia yakoze sanga wana che Nga wana enaremo Nga jeko kubanti wa musimba E motoka E pia kapiata Ba mutela kono musimbi Ate siche choka Munange president we guanga ya gamba neda Lekomana wangono mbeko ke mukolera Ke nja ulo Elevi tenevo rede ba mwade dogufo Orede 
full figure ba ma point nzenga youth ya a youth mobilizer of NRM kwa gamba yagendo kubanga aita muba mubavubuka ochitegera mwina chemwetage wa president full figure office jolumba mwina chemwetago kugamba president walwa musimbi ogujja twino kubanga bavubuka bafe basanyuka butarefu oina kulumba full figure wali mu office ye mutukira okubanga nsonga zoneza abavubuka sikola che zigwa ransonga oredo mkulembeze we gwanga ya sazao na gamba ebintu omwana alie office afune moto kavuka sente tandi ko kulia wachi ne darachi mwe sibam bibine bitava ko ya dora ebina bitava ko ya dora chano mwana wangeliye nsimbe eranga tsele vo a full figure I believe we must also look at the post here. Yo, Mukasera can edit the TV. Yo, edit the screen. Yo, also look at the item. Big number. We are full of figures. Kubanga. I'm as magari in TV. I'm a demi one. We're not even damn sick. Jack of our own. No. Name one. Name one. We're going to be going. At the watch. We're going to be going. Congratulating. We're full of figures. But we're not going to be going. Yosa, yosa. At the kumbere. No, just to say. Ko. We're not going to be going. We're president. We're going to be going. Today, my daughter Jennifer. Na, na kagubi, na kagubi. She tells me that was. Zukulu call her full figure. Paid me a visit at State House na kasero. Elanga kutsele vechi. Etifana nyancho chola ba. Already full figure ya bade ku State House. E ntebe. Nga kezo kumitinga Mr. President. Butele vokuwa ya muno kogera mu. No kubange chifose. E chifoche wachi konfami. Nga cheba mu wade. E ya wada chagara. Nga chiriko ne sigi. Nicha sitia kunda mubantu. Kutani kakwe wa na toru vanyumanti. Tetu kumanya. E cha mtu te kubango. Ujuli zibo na mfuna. Elanga choli ujuli zibo. Singa chifana nyecho. Nenga enewe amauli ya Galuga linti, mukasera kano, o mchia la fulu figo wa Jennifer, ya saze diro, mulu jude, mubutongole, na wa mu people power. Buwato naba nga joini nga NRM. Yavude mredi, buwato naba nga joini nga yero. Elanga mkasera kano, kati aliku gufo, alimu kulia sainte, alimu kusanyuka, alimu kunyirida. Agama mwaba msini kila kevi nyo mwja kumumu ulido wa mwaba azimu wade. Ochitegea mwaba wazambu simanya. Kwa sobolo kubela watalira, tu sobola. So, ya bagaye mumule kanyu mire, mumule kwa mchala yeta. Elanga mkasera kano alimu kweta. Bidi ya bidi mkumu, omululubu tu uba ya tutakole nga tatubi kola che nga tatubi manyo wa nga tatubi nabi manya nga mkasera kano muna ngege gagali wo fulu figa ya saze diro ya vudemo people power butelevu na joini nga NRM tachari wa ready kati mwana wa yero omkono tachagu kola ati kati agu kola ati echi ntune chikola che echi ntune chitambula rachi siku jayo butelevu mbe nga mkongera yo elana mkongera yo ngeda genda koko ewamu Ewa mwana mle insobo mwami. Ova, omuranyi wa Uganda. Ama nyi duanga mgolola moze. Se, banango mwami oyo ya tusekubu wangu zibambi. He's extremely happy. Guess what? Moze kati mkasera kano muzanyi wa film. Atenga film jia soke dedalo kuzanya film wei kuata kuye. Ochitegela Life of a Champion. Film wei kuata kuye. Ebintu vya nabia nabia wandi agado kumanya mbula mbua gololo kufari ya tani kanga mwana mtonga ya kazali wa paka mkasera kano watu soba mkasera kano wali edala kwali bichivi ya ise mburumi chim sanyo chinapu chi ochitege rabi ya magero chi butele vokena kuwa bisanga mfilme yo ema nyidu anga life of a champion elange genda premiering wa oru na koro ralero nesa gala kogera binji tuwa gala tsoke tulide kusanyo lia golo la moze se okubanga mkasera kano orede ba mkoze mfilm atenga filmo eno ye njini ya jie tulidemu ya jirimo elange film etumidua life of a champion egendo kubanga etongo ze wa oru na koro ralero Banka Gola Moses Tulia Chagamba for everyone Abamu Manye he's this kind of guy who is so talented when it comes to kickboxing when it comes to everything Naira Kuboku Yimba Kokwa Gana Okay Yimba Kokwa Gana so Mua Mi Golola a simple introduction yeah ladies and gentlemen this is Gola Moses of Uganda one man is army Katia Bastuba Nobangu Deko Ngandi Wanundi Mukuli Eramba Dena Kaliyo Vuguru Ovu Era the life of a champion to get a premier linga on Century Cinema, uh, one no co cinema, eh, Akasha, uh, Chiagana Kubeda Chamua Tawana. Uh, this is my first movie, actually. Me, I uh, really God fulfill people's dreams. It was my dream, but I'm now seeing it coming true. Uh, uh, so many people are asking me that am I living kickboxing, but I'm, uh, uh, I'm not living kickboxing because when we talk about the movie, 
uh, I'm going to be doing action. So all the action are going to be full of uh, kickboxing and everything. I want to thank God for uh, fulfilling my dreams because I prayed God on my claim to kickboxing. I wanted to enter into the movie. And the life of a champion is based on the... <laughs> Mukura mani duaga gola moze si butelevo abe tuzona kolorwa lelo kwa kashia anga premieringa movie e mani duaga life of a champion na yenga watu watu vude yonja kala moze kiri zenga na kumu kumula monyo yoku rendo ramaze atolova ni mangu na kwa kumau na mala mala manje tova kwa keep it up on record TV. Central Top Restaurant, located in Kamocha, opposite Diamond Trust Bank, with a comfortable and quiet ambience. Come enjoy our signature dishes like the various types of Nwombo, local food, fast food, snacks, cakes, and crunchy bites. Our freshly squeezed juice will leave you refreshed and energized. For lovers of milkshake and smoothies, we got you covered. Central Top Restaurant, where meals come to life. Maria, Maria, catch me a cold meal in the orange, quickly, quickly. I heard about this young guy's Ayabas promotion. Grab yourself a glass bottle of Mirinda, Pepsi, or Mountain Dew. Check under the golden chocolate and stand a chance to win. Over 1.5 billion in prizes are up for grabs. What you see is what you win. You can redeem your prize from any Pepsi depot or selected Total Petro stations countrywide. <laughs> Youngers are your bus. Drink more, win more. Terms and conditions apply. Are you in need of bridal or more cars? The number one bridal and VIP transportation company in Uganda is here. Adonai Group, we offer airport transfers, bridal cars, conference transportation, pata limousines, 24-7 self-driven cars, and more. We also provide VIP armed security personnel to ensure the safety of our clients. We are located at Plot 274 Bahai Road, Kanyanya, near Kampala Quality Kindergarten. You can reach us via WhatsApp or call on 0772 960131 or visit our website on www.adonaigroupuganda.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Eloy 97.7. Record your film to some of the hits all day. Wakati mwote magu wa Kampala, wave the best shows na tutankane yuji breakfast show. Aka uwa uwa, ufa kukumina bile paka sawa nyezo kumacha. The Heat Lab, omopezi, sawa nyam paka mwende zomu tonto. The Big Evening, ababa, sawa mwenda paka mwi ya kawungeze. The Hot 7 at 7 Countdown. Matubati ni nyimbe singo kuja, the hottest and the biggest songs. Wenda oku 97.7. Ate, the love what heart, the love what heart. Omo kwa na mumbeo, itani kasa wabere. Paka msavu gwechiro, late night. Kusubu wumi wa radio singe kedua 97.7. Record your film. Record your film. Record your film. To some la hits eh. All day. All day. All Uganda, all Uganda. On 1st November, get ready for a celebration of soul music in its purest form. Get ready for a live music experience like you've never witnessed before. This is Uganda's sensational queen of soul. Shifa Musasi in the unveiling Shifa Musasi concert. 
on 1st November 2019 at Golf Course Hotel. Tickets go for 50k ordinary, 100k VIP, and 2 million for a table of 10. Gets open at 6 p.m. Tickets are available online at quicket.co.ug. Kenjoy Supermarket Branches and at Marish Designs in Bukoto. Get yours today. Unveiling Shifa Musisi, a celebration of African soul music. Yeah. 
Nagamba ye ali radio kwa mbale kansu ye e koti ye ya blue. Na deranga wake de kumachane vamo yita. Buatu awenga agenda kumkolo guwa rema na makula. O mkolo no guwa mwezi kuna guwa njini kwa tuogere la muu. Elango mkolo gubu za kondo waza wiki nge mune chitu ndugu kwa je. O guwa rema na makula wa muu. Atene doktor we ama nyidu wanga hamza sebu nya. So ya gambie. Bana nga bana Uganda mune kira woku banga. You make this a big deal. When I can see Chikulu, but it's Vavera Wo. Only Rama Mkwano Gwangena ze wakia kwa chana ngamba. Nti ye, nebawe bampise kukwa njulu oku yemba. Nga vrachi sige na nenyimbi lako Mkwano Gwangena. Nzo ni Mkwano Gwangena mumanyi demi ya ketano wedu. Five years. Ate ye dokita yaka mumanyi romu wako. Gumu woka. So wawanga mumanyi. Wana mumanyi remi yaka musambu. Then a jaku wansi. Nga nemi kasira kano. There is no one and singer kumanya rema. Ate nze manyi rema bia yagara. Bambi mye bia yagara. Kwa mbala kugoma si, kwa itala, kwa ita mchala gundi So wabanga Dr. Hamza ya chumutusi zako Well and good, wema na kubira kasimu Mti Keizo, jangumu nango performinge kumukoro kwa fe Wabani wanda tila invitation card, mpita kukwa njula Mukuru ngenda genda, omwana ngenda mui imbiro obu imba Buli obu ala giwanga, yewe ye itala Kumanga ze Rema is my friend I'm ready to go for Rema's introduction Rachi mbaru isa yonga wali ye yogerera Bante Edi Kainzo utele munga tukakasa Nti Rama na makula wana muita kukwanjula Omwezi kuna kwa njini mwa mwike mune chitundo Butele wagenda kuba agenda No kupaforminga, ja paforminga, why not Bampe Edi Kainzo, ense muulile Mwike kumukulo guo kwa njula Ngabachikulo kufa kunto mozomu tima kwa we mulila Ndi musajja musira amonga ampaniso mkono kwa ngo kwa dio Mulila alo kwanzi jako buliche njina Ngenda nisanyukira kwa mkwano kwa nge Kubanze na makula nchimanya agenda kubira mkwano kwa nge miaka jona. Ate nchimanya ichiroto uche chari yecho. Mayagala kubira mbala kukau ni yeyagale, yeyagale. Katize sula buta vera huku sanyulio. Kwa banga ambisa. Mbanja kubira huku celebrate ingire kukuboli mkwano kwa nge. Mwenaba li ya ogele venji sima nyinti mwumanyi na makulo kunsinga. No mwami ya mwurino rualero. Abede na ye banga ilita wera liyamuwa kakumuna chitungu. Zena vera na ye miaka etano. Munga tusula wamu, tulia wamu, tusanyuka wamu, tukawa wamu. Nchamu manyi nyomba kalwari mala na yemi yaka musamba. Jaku ba nsi ingako. Neso fa, nze nsi ngoku manya na makura. Chite geza chaya gara nchi manyi. Kati kusanyu liye sisobula buta ba wuku mselebrate ingilako. Mba muntu movi. Bebana ampita wa ulai nja kwa mbali kanzu ya ngeyo vuganda. Aubia, eva kanzu eva suti. Nja kubahu. Murila. Iranze njoo kubande za maru na kusanyu kila kumu mami. Butala uvensonga yo mkulu mjiwuli de o mkulu msuza. Warema mkasera kana kiliza. Iranga tulinze chiva warema na makula. Kwa ngazo invitation by the way zichi hacha ambuli la jala. Invitation zichi agende ya masuka. Tulinze invitation yeyo. E obute suwaze gende wa kenzo. Nge muita vele wa kumkolo. Yene muwalawe. Bagiza kwa kubanga basanyu kila kwa mama. Nenga munanke press conference almost ya badia sawa namba. Ya badia mpamvuko. So ya badia mubi inji. Yeyo gende kubi inji. America tuwa. America tuwa. America tuwa ye. Ya tuka o zigizaga we. Kwa njula no kuchala, butele vogende wa presidenti, na yanga muna nga mubi nituwe vya ayo gedua kenza inzo obaya gese za obaya bade alabi kebintu bine abamu yabeganye ebintu bine byo musimbi nabagambya sisi mu yafuse bolongo to wetu ogerera kubanga abantu batanzi okwega na banawe nesagala kuraise yo njagala kwe ku ADK inzo bwatu ngakiza ko kubanga tulida mu bichi bya yogedde ne president we yasinkanye president bichi bya yogedde wako bwe yamusinkanye mbera ya badetia bwe yamusinkanye bichi bya bateseza bwe yamusinkanye sanu chile ya ulide butsele va pe ADK inzo anga Tunyonyola kumuntoe kateka ye Oba kumusisinka na ye Ya president we guanga yoweli kaguta museven Mtu omani ya kuli la kustreet Ya miaka atano muemeka Agenze wa president Amu meeting amu shaking kuungalo Ala genti na ina watu seno gamba Ya gende deyochi Omuntu yobo omu agaliza Omusaji ya ngambi ngenda kuwa yuka sento kole video Ntito zijia yoto zituwala Iii Ala ni Tuino kubako chitukwa. Changa nukuda mo kampaini ngile mwono. Bae dhawe mwame chagula nji mkwa nukwa nge. Nisi jamu kampaini ngile tuwa president. Nisi uburu mwa gire danso nja mwono onda. Nisi jamu linya katuti kukonvisi nga bantu. Anti ilu wali kolebiru nji. Ndimu kukampaini ngile chisanje chitako. Na fena tuliwele dentia. Atukolete. Nisi kwa takana nukwa president. Nisi uburu mwa gire danso nja mwono onda. Nisi uburu mwa gire danso nja mwono onda. 
aina soka tu kovisi nganti aliatia kusinga nzo kovisi nga wandu nti mkulu wanga agenda bako lina tandi sa point imbe ambuza james ula sija kubo lina kufanga vya vizivu vya ndimu ila nsaba government mpo ukumi kumbere yu nsaba ukumi no wamanyi ngane public yu nechi manya wa wakizi wange nsaba monsa vile kubukumi yu government i'm not safe nse ndi musa nyufira mpuli langa nsele bulete nga kachivu menti yako ilechi fana nyindi wakuchi wanga Butelevu system volongoto Volongoto wama mulie sente mulie Bana Wabula mkama Chiri Uganda wobochi agala Na Uganda wale tuwebelele Tuine dembe Tuine dembe Waka tuwono wa president ya alitua Nenga tuine dembe liyo kuogela Banake Temu nange bie 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 from high swag empire mkutumi deko darling weba likubanga kuhori nyo na inga mkasera kanonja gatuveye wa kenzo ebyo bie bie abadewe ebyo bie bie atusewa sente balia tudeko ko ewa mkulu Oyo eyewe ngule yobwa ghetto president Mukasera karibu biwa inga mazoku banga ingile biyo bufuzi mungu kila Waluo rokano waluo kukaya na oku wa ghetto president Nga kabaya nebucha mani baga mba kabaya nga manze ghetto president Mukuru wange watari wansonga agenda kuwe langa bize Tajanga kubanga kwa saganya nsonga zona wa mune za ghetto Nga nebucha mani aga nada o wa ghetto nzembu tuwala O chitege la kuga mkuru haka yoga no kari kanji nyo by then Na ye ee kwa gamete kateka wa ensali wawe ya kolebwa um, kabaya ne yeyo ne yeronda nga ngeto president ne buchamani ne yeronda nga ngeto president na yate mkasera kano ye buchamani alabi kechitiwa bacho ngende kono bachite kako stampu elanga kabaya kusonge no aina chayo gira kubaya gamba ye president wa ngeto teri mulala ye na wachita tuli ya kabaya kusonga ya buchamani ye chichia gamba ngeto yuti mwena baboyi wange Muli fiti nyo nchimanyi na ye Mwemuchimanyi ndi geto presidenti wa mwe Nze mulonde, nze yalaira Teri presidenti mulala yeno wa geto Onre mi Ngo balaba o bagambi le dala bulu Ya teri presidenti mulala yeno wa geto Wabula nze Nze nambe mu Eda nze yalaira Bucha mante tumumanyi nga geto presidenti Teri presidenti mulala yeno Onre mi Nera bate chali cha chilo Chali cha misana Habana bageto basa lao Neba gamba Nsobolo kubanga amba tu Kwe gamba Ngamba kule mbeda Oluo kubanti Ndi wageto Ndi friend renabo Bampuli ilamu Ninabia mba kolera Nebi lalabia sija kugamba Bo gamba nti president Museveni ya vudeo Na fula bucha mani President wageto sicha chitu Kubange vya geto vila la geto ina constitution yayo. President Museven itabimanyi. Wabula, ba maze ono, bano babucha, bata tenkanya. Kubanga boy wa foy, abade yala, ebanga dene nga atawa. Uchitegera, kati mkutawa, abade mkwete tenkanya. Asobolo kubanga atere zembe, ratubade tumulabe viserevyo, aine vizibu, lio ulira ya bienyama. Ata simanya bichi. Kwa gebi ntu vya la stoyo. Tevita gere keka. Chitufu chobu tufu. Mga bucha mani. Ya manya chiri kugula hundi. Kupa bajana mutu wala saketi. Ajayi ingira mugeto ba mutu wale saketi. Ata evita alie tagisiza. Wabula magezi gemu watu ule ku ofisi. Jebamu wade machindie. Tata wana kuingira mugeto. Kupa mugeto, tajia bisobola, hivi ayo tajia bisobola, wabucha mani. Nse mbade ngamba, ya lirabi ya bantu wabatufu, habatali nyate mbele yo ya kutawa nyo, basobolo kuwa kubana bageta maja, baba beko chiba bakole, raba noteba ina, chiba geba bakole, nse chendo oza. Butelevu 
ate ye kabaya geto president wabaya soko wabaya obwoku wabana haba wapu sato ye buwati wabaya yogede kusonga ya bucha managa bucha mani sigala mu office yotogeza no yingida geto ate geto ina constitution ye jifuga otitegele tamanyi duwa bantu tamanyi duwa president wakuja kaba naba geto wabaya ni katibali mu constitution wabaji kuwata ko atenga teteke duwa kubange kula te nge kuwati wako nenga mnage ate mbela wete weta mulia dala mu entertainment industry wa selebu mo baba fuki but I love you guys. My wife, I'm telling you, the come to get to a warm, cool, fresh daddy. Fresh daddy, as we all know, yesterday, na kiza kupanga bapde tinga ngamba gamba aga na gakali fata cha managing a fresh daddy. Na yamu kasela kana tell you fresh daddy abdi ngamba yeah that is true. Aga na gata cha managing na ya te already katini na management ya yangu. Elanga gwe mula ba wanunze fresh daddy ndi manager mula mba. Na tani se dok signing gava yimbi rangu mimi gwe gwen sosok signing gama ni duanga sera amu na mualo ye ya yimba kama yimba kama ni duanga son somola akimba kumatu kaba wadde konga tuja butelevo saga la mo. Katulia Fresh Daddy wayo gira kusonge na yoku vamu kubanga vamu managing ranga artist, upcoming artist. Ato kufuka manager waba yimi ngane management ya jine ngaze le katumu ulide Fresh Daddy. Manja mutabazi Paolo, Fresh Daddy Origino. Tuso banjuli yomu yimbi wange. Vamu itasela, yuji. Aina yobu yimba wenga, sonsomora. Aina yobu yimba wunji. Era... Agenda baku pira mwao. Ayimba bulu unji bana Uganda. Mumu wabu wagizi. Ida mutuwe mirimu. Presidadi managementi. Echa wandika haba imbi haba pia. Obaba to. Mpozi nsoro muba wana haba kupira muko kapera wano. Ya. Ni mumu nyumiru wa muko. Hey guys, this is your girl Sarah. Sarah Yuji. I'm in Fresh Daddy Management. And I'm so glad. Please support me. Like us as a team mutwagale bambi mutwene ku mirimu amba imbire mu akayimba kange there is something i want to do something i want to do today ngamulinze mpulire chintu chindu guda na ye mutima gungambe yoga thank you thank you too thank you guys Butelevu ye mwana muwala Sebra eranga ye muyembi asoke de dala okubanga ba musaininga e mu fresh daddy management omusajja kati manager bananga bana yugana mwe bare support omusajja mu mutadde yo wagulu rachi ne damule kali ya kuzise e system kati wetu we yafuse ya kulia kuzokoze bozi funo bane bazikuwa zirie tewali problem nenga mkasala kana te era nyongero kujukiza nti munange coca cola e kujukiza nti gowe ne yandi tazokubanga Teka echi julo cho echi womu Cho teke doko la ingira supermarket Gula avuto ama nyiduanga Crystal sunflower Butelbo yongere kone chupa cha coca cola Elabu ono tuke waka Evi ama gero genda kubida ba Rasonge biru ngobyo nabiyo teke doko So akufumbe echi julo cho Atebili kubuto oyo Oba mkavera kukiba teka Mkiba parking amu vuto Akama nyiduanga crystal sunflower Na ya tela nyongera okubanga kujukiza Nti haba ado na iba kugamba Nti gowe ni andi etazo kubanga O pangi se motoka Gowe ni andi etazo kubanga O kwe gamba O ya galo mkolo gogo venga kukunyumira Event yo joine venga tekusala O tege kachivulu wandi etaze chalo Chochimanyente chivulu wechiri kuchalo Butele fugenda baku venga Babenga baku funi ya emotoke ya events O ya gala kubango kolo kwa njulo kuwa laga Voku wo munga number plates Kuliko manyago na mchala wo Genda mba ado na iba gena kwa baputu sake motoke zomu lembe Buli chikacha motoka chona Bachina beyune Oja kubanga kwa tenga omkolo guo ogwese za echitiwe chitenka nika na inga mkusemba yonge na genda koko wa swangs avenue haba singa mjima yi swangs avenue mwemuli mwana mwala manjiduanga vinka wini nuwaje mkasera kano baba kubie kechi vate swangs avenue esaini nze omuyimbi omupia elango muyimbi yona manjiduanga manjikiduanga zawi yes manjikiduanga zawi elanga mwana mwalono muyimbi mwandi si atenga bambi murunji nyomu chintu chinecha entertainment elanga swangs avenue we video Yo negamba no katumu womu kisa katumu saini inge under swan seven management ya tege denti ya jakuvanga sobola. Nenga mkasera kano njagala mkuisemu kusipidi, njagala mkutuwale sipidi, mkuisemu nga mwana mwalo na manjidu wanga zoe ibaga za kukuvanga wamu saini nga mswans avenue. Bichia vya hape nize event ya tambu deti ya.
Butele, 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 but I think I can't de consiga zakatono, I can't de consiga zakatono, I think I'm kasela kanoni no kubuza kubantu wange, nenda kubuza kubantu wange, butele, nenda kubuza kubantu wange, so mkasela kano, njagala ave teke so kubanga mungu vila kusimu, e, mubenga mwe teke la teke la darasonga, kande ke kano, e, simu nzikude wa mkasela kano, yes, njagala mungu vila kusimu mumbuze, kwa it's a Friday, wajo gendo kubanga kuchaka lila, nenda kusanga walu na kololo, alero nolu na korencha, nolu na koresante, butele, Berango kubira kusimu. Namba yesimu. Yeyeli kuskrini yon. Kubira ko. Tuwenga tuwa ya mumbuza. Koranchi le da. Hello. 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 Wanji. Sula. Wanji. E sula. Nunji mkwano. Mpoze iyo. Wana. Thank you so much. Omanji ba mkwere. Na mnange. Ba nange chirunji nyecho. Oh, thank you. Hey, hey, Vacuum TV. To vacuum TV. Ah. Oh. Okay. Bon TV. Over 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 TV. Ano Priscilla ba nange? Ia mkuwa ano Priscilla. Mwabale tuwele. Mwabale kubela ko. Mwabale lero. Tusi manye mpele zayo. Tukwa gala nyo lero mkusini ya kusini. Banaki. Kusini ya kusini. Mwabale kusima. Kale dia. Kakati nje jeze na utaka ya mwa. Nje sana nchi mbele musaba lo chimanyi. Nchimanyi ya be musaba le kubo. Ate mwana gwe mkuli nje musaba la no. Nzijia ne musaba lo ntuwa lila dala kumazi ndia kuchenya anja. Ate no nimba kare na iku ike ndia. Ok darling thank you so much. Weba leka invite. Siba nanga be musaba la gangu mba tumide koma kinzi ya munyonyo. Muli mutia I love you guys. Weba leka kutwe kumida kari kusimu gamba hela. Hello? Hello? Wanzi? Wanzi? Kale, sweetheart, now we're here. Can you get a connection? I'm Simon. Yes, Simon. I'm going to get a connection. I'm going to get a connection. I'm going to get a connection. Na inga mba ya gala jeba leko Simon Kale sweetate Kachua kari Ogenda chaka lila wale ero Wanje? 